thank you. And I welcome everyone who are, who's interested uh, to study biochemistry and molecular biology in Bremen. Um, so my name, as already was pointed out, is Janine Kirstein. I started actually this professorship two years ago um, and have been uh, appointed as a coordinator for this master program right away. So if you have any questions, I'm the coordinator, so I'm the main contact person. However, um, if you want to directly question, you use please this email address here. Um, I'm sure the slides will be shared with you, to you. And I also direct you to this, um, to our website, because most of the questions I already see in the Q&A uh, are referring to, am I eligible um, to apply for master here? And those are all answered there, but I will go through them um, or go through those points as well. So as was also pointed out, um, the question is, where is Bremen? If you have not heard about it before, right? If you come from abroad, if this is the German map, then Bremen is located here. So it's pretty close to the um, North Sea, which I find uh, hugely attractive, but it's also close to the Dutch border. Um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of in a nice vicinity. It's a nice countryside. Bremen is about, together with Bremenhaven, um, about half a million um, uh, inhabitants. So it's a medium-sized city for German standards. Um, what is Bremen um, also famous for? It's of course the town musicians. So you see them here. Uh, you may have heard about this uh, tale, and also it's you know as you can see it's really close to the North Sea for vacations. So, I mean you can really go there on a weekend trip. It's uh, not that far away. It's a bit uh, an hour by car or by train to just go to the coast and enjoy it. So a few facts and figures. Um, the admission procedure is the following. So here's kind of like a rough guideline. We accept about 20 students. This is a kind of like a plus minus. So sometimes a few more, sometimes a few less, but it's uh, really not an issue if it doesn't go um, beyond kind of like a, let's say 25 and um, up to that, it's it's fine. The application deadline is always January 15th. Um, so, you know, I get already a request kind of, you know, or email sent to me. Um, it doesn't matter yet, it's January 15th um, and you have to pass certain tests, more to that later, and information about the test, how this will take place, how, what the procedure is like, it's a bit different now in Corona times, um, this is usually by the end of February. The written test takes place end of March and you get feedback on the test if you passed it and if you're welcomed um, to this um, program in April or May and you then start um, in October. There's a certain delay in the presentation. No. So I have a bit of a struggle with this um, presentation. Okay. So the requirements. Um, you have to um, have uh, you have to hold a be a bachelor's degree in biochemistry, biology, or any related field. Um, you should have at least 60 credit points in biochemistry, chemistry, molecular biology, and so on. Um, you should pass an English test according to C1 level. And you have to pass a written aptitude test. Uh, that is the test I was talking about here. If you want to get the sense for that, you know, what, what do we expect? It's actually, if you pass with uh, flying colors, your bachelor's, you're all fine, you're set. Um, if you want to get a few sample questions, look at our website and you will find them. So that you get the sense for what kind of like level are we aiming for? And then, of course, letter of motivation, why are you actually interested? So the skills uh, you will acquire here with us um, are kind of that we train you from day one uh, to become really someone who can think on its feet, who can um, solve problems. So you will get faced with, um, you know, kind of like a scientific problem and we will uh, guide you, but we will also give you the tools and teach you the tools and methods how to tackle a scientific problem. And a uh, high emphasis is on interdisciplinary thinking. You will also be put uh, in a position that you write your own first grant proposal, which is on top of it also an interdisciplinary one. So that for instance, you take a biological question, but you have to use tools from engineering or from biophysics 
right? So, and uh, it's not that we expect that from you from scratch, you will get taught. So you will get um, instructions on how to do that. You will hear about those techniques, but you have to basically be creative enough to come up with first a biological question and then also to figure out the right uh, tools. And then you work together with the respective groups um, to solve that. You will also uh, learn how to organize a symposium. Uh, you will basically also get the chance that you can invite speakers, that you have to set up a program, you have to announce it, so you have to do some marketing for that as well. Um, so that uh, you really run the whole show and invite us as professors to come there um, to see what you actually put up. Uh, there will also be an excursion to the island of Seoul. I mean, we have to take advantage that we are so close to the, um, to the coast that we um, can uh, use that and this will be a trip to, you know, to um, get to know each other a little bit better to work as a team and uh, we will combine that of course also with scientific um, yeah, problems so that we do kind of like some tutorials, some workshops together. Um, so it's really uh, every single year is a little bit different what content is like. So we have a high priority on hands on um, practical courses, but also internships. So it's not uh, that it's uh, that you have classes all the time, but that you spend a lot of time in the labs. And what we actually implemented very recently is that we implemented a mentoring scheme, meaning that every student is paired up with a professor randomly, and this professor is there for you. So if you have a question about your studying, um, about your progress, if you have maybe some um, you know, challenges uh, or insecurities or whatever, this professor is responsible for you, right? So you can turn to a certain person and ask kind of like for help and please use it. But it also goes beyond kind of if you face problems. And it's also meant that you have someone to uh, bounce off ideas or to think about the next steps, what comes actually, um, you know, after your master. Um, Am I cut out for a PhD program? Where should I go? What kind of like, where are my interests? So you get someone, you actually can um, discuss all that. Yeah, and the scientific focus of the BMB, so the Biochemistry Molecular Biology Research Labs is on glycobiochemistry, neurobiochemistry, neurodegeneration, diabetes, microbiology, and plants, genetics, and physiology, and many more. So now really, uh, when, you know, Georgie was uh, explaining you um, or pointing out what you should focus on deciding where you want to go to do your master, the master programs in Germany are fantastic everywhere. But it's kind of like, I would strongly suggest that you look at this respective labs, what kind of research is done? Um, is this something which is of interest to me? Because you will spend uh, time in lab rotations, but also in your master thesis in the respective lab. So it really matters um, if you can identify um, with this respective lab and can um, see yourself uh, doing such science. So here is a glance, you see an overview about the study structure. Of course, this is kind of like a lot um, um, at once, but I will go through now, I will um, go through each of the terms. So when you see it, first term, second and so on, it's basically the winter semester, summer semester, again the winter and again summer. So I will go through them. In the first term, we have two modules. Module A is that you get um, a basic understanding in biochemistry and molecular biology through lectures, seminars, um, uh, lab work, so that you learn all the, the basics um, to then specialize. And this comes in module B already. So in module B, you can already specialize and have a focus on uh, either bioorganic chemistry, on glycobiochemistry, biophysics, or applied microbiology. So here you can already specialize and set a certain focus. Yeah? So you have enough time to figure out actually what you want. Um, and uh, then yeah, this is the first kind of like turning point where you can um, have a certain focus. In the second term, I know this is again a lot of information, but what you actually should get from this slide is that uh, we have uh, two main branches. The first one is um, on microbial systems, so it has, has, has a heavy focus on uh, microbiology. And uh, you can pick any of these lab courses or what we call as a second branch, the integrative um, BMB. 
And that gives you more of a sense of the um, interdisciplinarity. So it's hugely diverse. So there were some questions about uh, bioinformatics. Yes, this is possible to do here in Bremen because we have also modeling groups who do some docking analysis and some simulations um, of, let's say, protein structures. So they do that and you can take part in such a course and learn all about that. And in the end, you can, um, you know, it's like Lego here. So you can pick any of them and you have to cover three and you can pick them to your liking and um, take part in those uh, modules. In addition, in this, in this summer term, we have module C, which is project management, where you will learn how to prepare the, a symposium, but also how to set up, for instance, a class for bachelor students. So that you get into teaching, how to set up um, a class, how to provide background, what kind of tools you can implement to um, teach a bachelor students for one class. So it's not kind of like that we take advantage of you. It's more that you actually learn how, what is also a part of an academic career. And module F will take place. And this is a module which, um, you know, is uh, spanning for the whole semester. Here you actually start to write your first project proposal the one I mentioned, but is highly interdisciplinary. So you work together with um, PIs from different labs. Um, you get feedback, how to write it. You will really pick it up from, from scratch and learn how to set it up. And in the end, you will defend that uh, in a symposium. You will defend it to your entire class, to your peers, but also to all the professors. And that takes place in uh, October, so it is spanning for the whole summer. It doesn't mean that you're busy the whole summer, but you can take your time to develop this project proposal. So now coming to the third term, so again, the winter term, you have here two lab rotations. So you spend time in a lab where you become a valid lab member, so you are treated as such. And for one of them, you uh, will also be able to set up um, a yeah, project present presentation um, in the form of a poster. So you may have heard at the scientific conferences, you present your data very often as a poster, and this is how you will learn it here in this master course. So you will set up a poster to present the data you obtained in one of the lab projects, and you can choose which one um, to use for that. And finally, now we come to the fourth term, it's your master thesis, um, the one that is probably um, the most, let's say, um, demanding in terms of that uh, you spend most of the time doing that and is also um, where you will really uh, uh, have most of the time, but also not the skills to develop your own project um, and to accomplish or to kind of hopefully also finish a project. And with that, that actually concludes now the uh, layout of the master program. And I want to uh, use the remaining time to tell you a little bit, um, you know, what, what, this, what comes afterwards, right? What uh, do our alumni do? So here you see a few pictures of uh, graduates uh, from our master courses. You can see it's diverse. Uh, they come from all over the world. Um, we have Germans, we have um, many of foreigners, really from literally everywhere. And what do they do afterwards? So more than 90% stay in academia, meaning that they pursue a PhD. But other career options are also there. For instance, uh, our alumni um, got into project management. Um, you have um, now also got to know two other alumni who are part of my German university. So you see there's plenty more out there than just being, or just in uh, inverted commas, than uh, just following uh, an academic track. Um, some others uh, were part of healthcare management or research assistance, um, that's absolutely um, possible as well. So where did they go next? Um, so 75% stayed in Germany, but those who explored a little bit more, they actually ended up again all over the world, many a big chunk in Europe, so in other European countries, but then you also see how it's actually split up and it's um, uh, again, quite um, diverse and truly global, which I appreciate a lot. Yeah, and um, with uh, that, I leave you with a few impressions from our labs, from our um, instructors and students in the lab. And um, we hope to see you in Bremen. And if you have any questions, feel free to use the email address I provided in the beginning. Feel free to browse um, on the website because most of the questions regarding eligibility and all that will be addressed there. I thank you very much for your attention. I'm happy to take any more specific questions.